Hey guys, it's me, Takani, and today we are going to be watching Catfish together. I took a dive on Reddit and picked out a bunch of catfish episodes that sound outrageous or that other people said are the best catfish episodes. So today we are going to be starting off with Season 7, Episode 30, Christina and Faith. Let's just dive right in, shall we? Apparently, Christina met Faith on IMVU, which Neve says he doesn't know what that is. For those who aren't aware, it's like, um, I guess it's like Sims Online, basically. Like, you could pay a bunch of money to make your character look good. It's like Roblox, but sexy? <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> Apparently, Faith and Christina both live in Michigan and have never met. Christina used to be a catfish. She says she doesn't do it anymore, but she used to, so she knows the signs, and there's just a bunch of red flags. It's wild to me that people who were catfishes once could be catfished, but I feel like those who catfish are usually, like, low self-esteem anyway, which is why they're catfishing. But what do I know? <laughs> Neve notices that Christina has a bunch of dream catchers on the wall, so naturally he had to make a dad joke being like, well, we gotta make a faith catcher. <sighs> so apparently Faith lives five hours away from Christina, and I'm just curious why Christina hasn't planned to just drive that five hours and just go up there. I mean, I guess if she won't agree to meet, it's kind of hard to drive all that way for someone just to not have them not show up. So after New Year's, Christina and Faith planned to meet, but Faith canceled on her because she needed to study for school and she couldn't go see her. Mm, I feel like if you really love someone, you could put your school stuff aside or study with them. That would be kind of cool, like just sit together. Especially when you plan to meet after New Year's, I think one day it's going to be okay for you to just not study. But I'm not a college graduate, so what do I know? I'm just a high school graduate. I didn't drop out of high school. I hear a lot of people drop out of high school, which is like, how? I don't get it. <laughs> How did you just, like, not show up? <laughs> That's crazy to me. <laughs> so Faith says that she cannot video chat with Christina because she has anxiety, she's got a lot of her studies going on, and she doesn't want to FaceTime during studies. And then, of course, her camera. <laughs> there isn't one on her phone. Every phone has a camera. Like, every phone, except for the Nokias, like, way back when phones first existed. Like, even my first flip phone that I got had a camera. And it had a screen on the top, too. Like, it was crazy, bro. Flip phones are wild, then. <laughs> Tallulah points out that it's just a lot of excuses. Convenient. Neve does another dad joke. You gotta have faith. That's what she's trying to do. She's trying to have faith. That's what she hired you guys for. Well... That's what she reached out to you guys for. I don't I don't think they pay them. That would be wild. Do they pay them? No. 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 Probably not. I'm sorry. I have to tell you one more thing. I have a girlfriend. She lives with me. Oh. Christina has a girlfriend. And they're not in an open relationship. But her girlfriend does know about Faith, but Faith doesn't know about her girlfriend. Girl, why are you cheating on this poor woman named Sam? What are you doing? I don't understand why people will find someone in real life and try to pursue an online person that they've never met that won't even meet them. Also, how recently was the whole New Year's Eve thing? Was she trying to meet up with her while she still had a girlfriend then? Which, I mean, I guess if she's reaching out to Catfish and she still has a girlfriend that... I mean, I'm not saying that she did it. I'm just saying that the pieces falling together looking a little suspicious. The puzzle's spelling suspicious, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, what the heck? What is wrong with people? Don't cheat on your partners. And also, if you can't be in a monogamous... If you can't be in a monogamous relationship, say that. Polyamory exists. That's great. You know, just... I 
was muted. Christina met Faith while she was in a relationship with Sammy. Excuse me? Like, they were going through a rough patch in their relationship, so Christina went on IMV- IMVU, went on a dating lesbian area and just chat room and just, like, continued pursuing Faith. It's just crazy to me. And then now, like, I assume her and Sammy are good if they're still in a relationship. I don't know how, like, how long it's been, but I do know that she says she's been talking to Faith for months. So, and she's still in this relationship with Sammy. So, for months, you've been talking to this girl while you're in a relationship. What is that? Like, Sammy's got to get out of this relationship. She deserves so much better. Someone that loves her and someone that isn't going to sit there and freaking do this nonsense. But Neve rightfully asks, well, what does Sammy think? And, oh, well, Sammy's upset. Obviously, she's upset. I'd be upset, too. Be open and honest. What are you doing? Communicate, people. <laughs> I told her a few days ago. So yeah. faith has been a big secret for you for the past seven months. So Sammy found out just a few days ago. Christina just told her a few days ago. Remember that she's been talking to Faith for months. So for several months, Sammy had no idea. Ugh. Tulua says that, oh, we don't choose who we have feelings for when they come along. It's just about taking responsibility. Well, she decided to take responsibility when Catfish reached out and said, hey, we want to do an episode with you. And she's like, I better tell Sammy, otherwise they're not going to introduce me to Faith. Or I better tell Sammy, otherwise they're going to tell Sammy. You didn't even tell her because you felt guilt. You didn't even tell her because, you know, you thought she should know the truth. You told her because you're about to be on a TV show. She didn't specifically say that, but you just happened to tell her two days ago and now you're on the Skype. Yeah. What was that guy reaching out for behind the camera? <laughs> was he just moving the camera to make it look better? Or to to see the people better? Well, anyway, the gang is going to Michigan. Tulua brings up in the car that she's very curious about the girlfriend. Tulua's like, I mean, it's really gonna see what happens after if Sammy's gonna stick with her. Because I wouldn't. I'm sorry. I would have dumped her before going on this catfish show. You wouldn't have ca- you wouldn't have caught me being the freaking third wheel in my own relationship. Are you kidding me? To someone online that they've never even met? Are you kidding me? And then to go on catfish and be embarrassed? Like, maybe Sammy doesn't think this way, but for me, this would be embarrassing. And I would not be able to hide my face as I'm staring at my partner like, are you freaking for real? How long have you lived here? Two years. I moved from Ohio to be with her. Sammy and Christina have been together for two freaking years. Are you kidding me? And that, or well, longer for two years. Freaking Sammy moved from Ohio to Michigan to live with freaking Christina. And Christina's out here being unfaithful. What are you doing? What are you doing? Christina! No wonder Sammy didn't just up and leave because, like, where's she gonna go? She had to move from Ohio to Michigan. Hold on, how even how far is even that? Ohio to Michigan. It's just five hours between Ohio and Michigan. But still, the fact that she left everything to move in with Christina and Christina does her dirty like this. So shout out to the cute guinea pig. It was cute and it was a guinea pig. What more can you want from that? Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to throw my ring at her. What ring? We used to be engaged. Sammy and Christina were engaged. They called it off, probably due to the situation, rightfully so. But Sammy says she still wears the ring because, you know, it was also an anniversary gift. So Christina had proposed to Sammy. It freaking skews me? Are you serious? This is your was fiance. Sammy says she's hoping that Christina will just let this all go so that they can move on with their relationship. And Christina replies that she feels like she really deserves to know who she's been talking to. Yeah, you do. And I hope it's a catfish, okay? I hope it's a catfish. It started with a girl that was texting my phone. She was calling me, babe, I was not interested. Yeah, I found out. But that obviously created some issues, some right. trust. But I forgave her. 
that I gave her that chance because she is somebody I love. Christina's done all this before. She was receiving text messages from a girl that she was not interested in, and they kept calling her babe and stuff. And that was enough for Sammy to be like, yo, no, and them to have, like, a hard relationship over it. I don't believe that Christina wasn't reciprocating. Because if someone's sitting there calling me babe and I'm uncomfortable, I'm going to tell them to stop. If I feel disrespected, I'm not going to continue talking to somebody. That's just, that's just me. But it really agitates me. I... I'm not rooting for Christina. I am, I, I will say it. Okay, I'm only eight minutes into this episode and I very strongly dislike Christina and I don't care about her what was me story. Sammy didn't, Sammy and I were fighting because some other lady was texting me and we were talking and stuff. And then I met someone online during fight, during our fight and we just weren't getting along and I just got feelings for them. No, no, that's not, no. When you're having a rough patch with your partner, you talk to them about it. You work that stuff out, okay? Maybe you go to therapy together. Maybe you go to therapy separately. It wasn't my intention to catch feelings for her. I mean, as, you know, a kid, I wasn't... So, Christina talks about how... As a kid, she wasn't very attractive. She didn't feel loved. She, like, she wasn't really looked at. So having people pursue her makes her feel good and boosts her self-esteem. Which, again, is why therapy is great. Because you don't need other people to boost your self-esteem. You should be able to have the tools to do that for yourself. And as a fellow fat, okay, I am a fellow fat. We all know I'm a fat gal. I got the, the double chin to prove it. You know, as a fellow fat, I can understand being insecure about your body and your weight. I was like that. And then I pursued therapy. So as Christina's talking about how it boosts her self-esteem when people compliment her and stuff like that, Neve points out that people can still compliment you and you could say thank you and that you appreciate it and stuff. However, when it comes to them wanting to meet up or wanting to pursue something more, something more intimate, you can say, I'm flattered, but I don't want to do that. And then Sammy gets kind of like, she starts crying a little bit, so she asks to walk out and leave, and she walks out, and then Neve goes and follows her. And he tells Sammy, you know, you need to figure out what you want to do, and obviously it's not right for her to put you through this and stuff like that. And Sammy says that's why she wants to do this, is that she wants to see what it is and then figure out where they go from there. I'm wondering if it is a catfish, if she'll stay with Christina. I personally wouldn't want to stay with someone, especially since if the catfish was real, they would have left. You know what I mean? Like, it's just wrong. It really sucks that Christina and Sammy were having a rough time in their relationship over the fact that Christina was talking to other women just for Christina to continue talking to other women because of their rough time in their relationship over that. And especially since it's been nine freaking months and Sammy just found out a couple days ago. That's messed up. And I really feel for Sammy. So Neve tells Christina that Sammy wants to come onto the journey to meet Faith and she's just gonna have to deal with that, which Sammy says she's fine with that. And then Neve asks her, you know, you say you love Sammy, but you still want to meet Faith. And she's like, yeah, I want to see if she's real. And Neve is like, and then you want to be in a relationship with her. And Sammy's like, yeah, potentially. And Neve's like, so that means breaking up with Sammy. And Christina's like, oh, I don't know about that. Girl, what are you doing? See, that's exactly what I was saying, where Sammy should just leave. Because if the catfish is real, Christina's gone. If the catfish is not real... Christina is always going to be looking for someone else because clearly Sammy isn't enough for her. And that's not because of Sammy. That's not a fault of Sammy. That's Christina searching for things that she needs to learn to find within herself, like self-esteem and such and such like. So until Christina gets proper help, like therapy. Okay, so we get to see pictures of Faith and uh, Christina also shows Neve her text messages where they're calling each other babe and talking about cuddling and stuff. Wonder how recent those were. So she's showing Neve the text messages and they're calling each other babe and they're saying I love you and talking about cuddling and stuff and Neve's like, this is your girlfriend. And Christina kind of smiles and girl, 
I just want to jump through that screen. The Neve asks her about social media and Christina says, oh, well, her Facebook is just for family. If you guys are like basically dating, why wouldn't you be added on that Facebook? You know what I mean? Especially if you're flirting a lot. They did the classic drag the image to the search thing and see where that image is posted on and they found the real Instagrammer that posted those photos named Elena and so Faith does not look like that we still don't know who Faith is so like Christina looks like upset and disappointed and I am curious if Faith is really a woman and she's not like attractive if Christina would still want to pursue her like, I wonder where Christina is kind of drawing that line because it seemed like Faith's pictures were very, um, like a very, like, conventionally beautiful woman, you know? I wonder if she was more drawn to that or if she was actually drawn to personality and stuff. Neve f- looks up the number and they find out it's in Mackinac Island, which is where she's been saying she's from. Tula's like, have you looked it up before? And Christina's like, oh, I didn't have a last name. You never, like, Google somebody? I Google people all the time. There's a lot of stuff on Google. So, you know, be safe on the internet out there. You didn't Google the name and where she said she's from just to see if something would pop up. Weird. Weird. I think I think she wanted to live in ignorant bliss. Like, I think she just didn't want to know. She wanted to pretend that it was her. Because it doesn't seem like she went through any effort to check. Especially being a former catfish. Neve says, assuming that this faith is the faith that she's been talking to. He says, oh, well, she's cute, so maybe she's in the closet and she doesn't want, like, anybody to know that she's talking to girls and stuff. And her Facebook page is private. <laughs> like, her being a lesbian doesn't have anything to do with her Facebook page it's private. I'm just throwing that in there. It's funny to me that Neve brings up the fact that this potential faith is cute. Why would she be catfishing? And it's, oh, it's probably because she's in the closet. I don't feel like you have to look a certain way to catfish. As for her being in the closet, I mean, I don't know. Low self-esteem can attack anybody. I don't understand what the big deal is. We're not in a relationship, so I don't get why she is talking to you. So Neve texts Faith and says, hey, it's Neve. I'm with Christina in Detroit, Michigan, and she wanted to meet you. Can you respond? Whatever. Faith texts back and says, I told Christina it wasn't a good time to meet because the water is high and the lake is freezing and it's you know winter time and they're not allowing planes in and out of uh wherever the heck she says she lived mackintosh or whatever faith continues to text and says i don't know why you guys are contacting me christina and i aren't in a relationship christina was like not in a relationship it's like you're already in a relationship what are you talking about Christina starts crying and being like, that hurts my feelings. We might not be in a relationship, but my feelings are invested into this. And then she goes on to be like, oh, well, I've talked to this girl for seven months. And she starts well, welling up, whelping up. What's the word? Crying, sobbing. And is like, you know, I deserve to know who I'm talking to and blah, blah, blah. And like, of course they agree. So Neve straight up checks like the planes and to McIntyre checks if there's a ferry that goes through there was so he just calls them no hesitation just straight up calls them right there my social anxiety self could never i was just like uh, shook is that supposed to be how it is like i need at least 30 minutes before i call any kind of customer service or anything like to just kind of prep myself into doing it and even then i like to have a few days notice that i need to do it you know like and even then i'm still anxious on the phone (laughs) and after i just uh, it's crazy to me that's crazy they're going on a plane to get to the ferry to go to mcintosh obviously sammy's going we knew that but christina's sitting there texting someone and like sammy kind of like like there's a bag in between them so she kind of like leans over a little bit and christina straight up are you texting are you texting are you texting faith or are you texting somebody else because remember aren't you upset with faith because she said you guys weren't really a relationship you were just two people talking Hmm. so i didn't like that i didn't like that one bit i didn't like that at all i'm nervous but you know excited at the same time Tulua asks how christina's feeling and she says that she's nervous but she's excited at the same time 
and for Sammy's face. So unfortunately, the ferry is not running because the boat is frozen, but there is a plane that goes from there to the island. Neve is just calling right away to see if they can get on that plane. And it still shocks me. That's that's like a superpower. How how do you do that? How do you do that? <laughs> so they pull up to a motel and decide to stay the night because they're not going to be able to get on a plane until tomorrow, hopefully. Neve and Tolua walk over to Sammy and Christina's motel room and Christina's sleeping. She's not feeling well. Neve and Tolula talk to Sammy about Christina and how Sammy's feeling and Sammy says that she really does love Christina and she really wants things to work out between her and Christina and she's hoping that showing Christina that she's, you know, still behind her and she still loves her and stuff will make Christina realize it and Neve rightfully points out that this also might fortify Christina's thoughts that Sammy would never leave her and so you just need to do what's right by you and Sammy so she's gonna do what's right by her and she's still figuring it out also Neve texted Faith and was like hey just like you said plane or er, fairy's not working but there's a plane and we're gonna get over there tomorrow morning so let's go so that morning Neve calls Christina and see how she's feeling and asks if she heard from Faith and Christina said no she hasn't heard from Faith and Christina starts to cry because she's really upset that she wasn't able to see her then. So Neve and Tallulah go to the airport try to book a flight. Unfortunately the flights might not be flighting so they leave their number and they go back to the motel and then Neve calls Christina and says hey you and Sammy come over and Christina's like it'll just be me uh, there's tension between Sammy and I. I bet. I bet there is. So Christina comes over and Neve kind of talks to her and tells her, you know, I don't think you're going to be able to meet Faith because she hasn't been responding to us and she's not responding to you. And I just don't think that it's very promising. And then he straight up asks her, do you want to be with Sammy? And like answer that without the word faith in it. And Christina's like, I want to work on myself, and I think it would be better for Sammy and I if, you know, I just worked on myself alone. And I feel so devastated for Sammy, because she literally went through all of this for her. Like, she could have ended it a long time ago, if she didn't love her still. Like, that's, that's really messed up. And, I mean, I, I don't know if Christina knew nine months ago, but, I don't know. It just hates seeing people get strung along, you know? So anyway, Tallulah goes out to talk to Sammy. And Neve is going to stay back with Christina. And Christina is going to figure out how to handle Sammy. Faith has been standing in for this whole time. Oh my god. I've been Faith. Sammy is Faith. I did not see that coming at all. Tulula was talking to Sammy about how Sammy should be with someone that treats her just like she treats them. And it's not very even in this relationship like it should be. And then Sammy is like, it was never like this. It isn't like this. And then she comes out that she's Faith. Girl, what? I'm just, I'm shooketh. So Sammy says that she suspected that Christina was cheating on her again. And she wanted to catch her in the act. And she noticed that she's been on IMVU a lot. So she made an IMVU. And, you know, originally it was just about catching her in the act. But there was that connection that they've had. And they've always had. And she didn't want to lose her. Tallulah brings Sammy back to the motel room. And... She encourages Sammy to tell Christina that she's Faith. And maybe Christina realized the connection was them. Because Christina said she didn't care what she looked like. She didn't care anything about her. She just loved that connection. And it was there. It was with Sammy behind a wall. So Sammy tells Christina that Faith has been in front of her this whole time. And she explains that, you know, she wanted to catch her cheating. And she just didn't want that connection to go. Like... 
she loved that connection she had with her. And Christina storms out. She's absolutely devastated finding out that her fiancé is the person online that she's been talking to. I understand that it's definitely like, you know, she lied and this doesn't make me feel better for Christina. Still mad at Christina. Unbelievably shocked at Sammy and disappointed in Sammy. Because, girl, if you thought she was cheating on you, you should just left, you know? Two things can be true. Disappointed in both of them. I think I do think it's strange that Christina ran out like crying. Like I like again, I understand that she's been lied to and that it was Sammy the whole time, but if she didn't want to break up with Sammy, if there would be any relief to finding out that it was Sammy because then you guys did have your connection and this whole time it was wasn't cheating, although you felt bad because you thought you were cheating, but it really kind of wasn't. But was it? Was it cheating? I don't know. Can someone explain it to me down below? Like I guess I don't really understand. Like, I guess it still would be considered cheating, right? Lula points out kind of what I did is that, which, which she said it way better, is that it wasn't someone being malicious and that the basis of all this was from a place of love and care, which is kind of what I was saying. And she was also like, you know, that doesn't take away the, the anger and hurt you're going to feel. But, you know, it might be a little bit comforting to know that, which is what I was saying, like a little bit comforting. Sure. Except for the fact that Christina doesn't want to be with Sammy. Like, she's already talked about breaking up with Sammy. I believe, in my opinion, that this was her excuse to get out and now finding it's, finding out it's Sammy is like, oh. Okay, so Neve asks, basically, if Christina has any questions, and Christina's like, why did you do this? And, again, Sammy explains that it was because she wanted to see if she was cheating, and also the fact that, like, they had this connection, and she didn't want to let the connection go, and then Christina's like, I would have loved to have that connection with you, not Faith. Girl, don't, you can't put the blame on Sammy. You still cheated. Like, why didn't you try to have that connection with Sammy instead of Faith? Yeah, goes both ways, friend. Both ways. Both ways. Neve says, so you wanted her to be stood up by Faith and then you could be there to comfort her. And Sammy agrees. So yeah, that's definitely manipulative. And I'm definitely side-eyeing you, Sammy. It's also kind of wild that she revealed it. <laughs> I don't know. I just, <laughs> like, you were so close to the end. I don't understand why, like, all of a sudden, I guess the guilt overtook her. So Neve asked Christina how she feels knowing that it wasn't just a random person online and the connection you had was with Sammy. And Christina's like, I feel deceived and lied to, but it is comforting to know that I wasn't just sharing random information with a bunch of, like, with... A bunch of information with a stranger you know she lied to me and i lied to her too there you go thank you take accountability most of it at work so when you talked on the phone how did you not recognize her voice it, wasn't it didn't me. sound like her it wasn't you no girl neve's like were you guys sitting next to each other texting each other and sammy's like no i did it while i was at work and neve's like ah, christina how'd you not recognize her voice because you said you talked on the phone and Sammy's like, I had a friend do it. What the heck? That's so wrong. And also wrong of the friend. If my friend asked me to do this, I'd be like, mm, no, 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 thank you. And even if you did do it, it would be so awkward. Like you wouldn't even know what you were talking about. What? It would have to be like improv central. And also it's just wrong. Don't do that. What the heck? Why are people helping catfishes catfish? No. So Christina basically lays it out for Sammy and says, I would love to have you in my life. I just don't see us continuing to be in a relationship and she breaks up with her, which good. But she should have this was nine months ago. This is not a match made in heaven. This is a match made in a bad match three game. <laughs> Neve and Tallulah call Christina to see how she's doing and where she's at. So Christina's been working on herself. She has two jobs. She is working her way into a military nurse, and she also has um, been working on her GED. So she's moving on with her life and living. Sammy did move out, and she lives right down the street. Sammy is apparently uh, not answering the video call, so a text thing comes up saying that she's been working on herself and that she hopes that maybe her and Christina can be in a relationship in the future. Well, that's it for this catfish episode. What did you guys think of Christina and Faith, i.e. Sammy's story? Were you as shocked as I was? Because I was shocked. 
I was shocked. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today, and I will catch you later. Bye, guys.